everybody should have their A game individually and then bring us together. Uh, you know, no, we have to make people look bad because then they look better. It's just, it's just a, a childish game, you know. Nicole did an interview recently. I don't know. It was either Entertainment Tonight or Watch What Happens where she said, you know, Marisol is behind it all when it comes to Alexia. Like she said, you know, it's Marisol. She's the one pulling the puppet strings of Alexia. These are her words, not mine. More or less. Do you agree with that? I I think so, because it seems like Marisol always has the evidence, right, of the... It started with me, right? I mean, Marisol was the one that told Alexia. And then, then Marisol was the one saying that Nikki had the evidence of Nikki, Nicole sleeping with the whole hospital, right? So Larsa was delivering the message, but I feel like, and even like with Julia's comment, right? So I think when I start to think about it, it goes deeper than the plotting. It's deeper than people realize, because think about it. Larsa said she was not going to participate in my music video, that she would never be in my music video, right? Yet, then Marisol and Alexia were supposed to come and rehearse the choreography for the video with me. Both of them sent me some texts with some bogus excuses that they could not make it. Next thing I know, they're having lunch with Larsa to discuss what? Julia. Now, the boat scene comes the day of the music video. They're all there to do what exactly? Because Larsa said she wasn't going to participate. And the only thing she had to bring was a bomb to destroy the entire day by accusing Julia because they know Julia is my Achilles heel. So then when they attack Julia and make a big scandal out of it, you know, everything got derailed. And then my question is, who was the person who told Larsa that? It seems that one common denominator is Marisol, yeah. Do you think Marisol is like that, as they say in Atlanta, the bone collector, where she spends time between seasons gathering information and comes back when cameras are rolling, guns blazing? Yeah, because apparently, I think... She's fighting to stay relevant. She didn't have much of a storyline this season. So she made us their her storyline, right? And um, yeah, and she, she's not working. She doesn't have any kids. Um, so I feel like she has a lot of free time in her hands and she's trying to maintain her relevance. So makes sense. Someone is doing the digging. And whoever has the most, most time to do it and no remorse. Where are you with Larsa? Because, you know, we saw you guys had your issues last season, you know, over the Kardashians and ass implants. Then we saw her in this situation that, you know, where you guys mentioned witchcraft and then, you know, she seemed to be listening and then she went back and told Alexia and Marisol. I mean, is Larsa innocent in all of this? And where are you guys today? I was in a good space with Larsa previous to this whole thing. Um, right now, I don't know because I haven't seen her since the reunion. So, but I had given her a pass, even though she came and literally detonated my music video shooting in the yacht. I still was giving her the grace of forgiveness and giving her the benefit of the doubt. But right now, I don't know where we stand because we obviously have some talking to do, you know. Well, Gertie says that Larsa is the fakest in the group. Do you agree with that? And if not, who do you think is the fakest in this group? Um, I think that Larsa... She does have this fake side to her where she'll say things to your face, she'll come to you and you're like, oh, I love you. But then she'll turn around and, you know, and hurt you. So in that sense, yeah, probably yes. Well, Gertie would agree with you. Yeah.
you know, you made reference earlier to Alexia, you know, Alexia did post her statement on her social media, you know, about Frankie and this whole situation, you know, she called your injury fake. And there is this consensus, like Larsa says it on, you know, on screen, you know, that you're a drama queen and you play everything up. I mean, where does, you know, all of this come from this fake and that you're a drama queen? Because Larsa said it now, Alexia saying it in her statement, like, where does all this come from? Well, obviously they rehearsed that, right? Obviously they got in an agreement. They are going to repeat each other. You know, the narrative has to be reinforced by different angles. So they're tight, they're together now. So they're just going to repeat what the other one says. And um, the injury was not fake. You know, if you watch Watch What Happens Live Sunday night with Nicole and Gurry, you saw, you know, they stated at least five times the accident was, you know, Kiki and Gertie rolled into my foot, to my leg, you know, caused me, sent me to the podiatrist. So that's a true fact. I didn't make it up, you know. They were playing around, lost control and rolled into, you know, the weight of two grown women into my legs, my skinny legs, like Alexia was also body shaming me saying, I had such skinny legs, I need to build my legs up. So for Alexis, you know, comment, yeah. So two grown women's weight on my skinny leg. Um, obviously I got lucky it didn't fracture, but it was pretty well strained. And the people there that attended to me said, you have to keep pressure, ice, and do not walk on this foot. The resort was huge, huge. Like just come down, walk through the cas entire casino just to get out. And then once you're out, you have to walk, you know, almost a mile to get anywhere. So they offered me the, the wheelchair. They said, we advise you to use the wheelchair because you should not be putting pressure in this long distance to be walked. And I said, yes, because I didn't want to, you know, add more insult to my injury and uh, not be able to then come back home and take care of myself. My dog finished the video, do my work. I mean, you know, I had things to be, needed to be done and finished once I come home. So obviously I was concerned with that. And obviously having them suggest I do the wheelchair, I accepted it. Right. I think there's also like that consensus amongst them that you play it up for the cameras like this is your moment you want the camera time cue the violin bring in the wheelchair I mean that's yeah. well that's not how he went down and believe me if will I choose to get hurt no I have plenty of camera time I have a lot of storyline I have a lot of game I don't need to get hurt or fake an accident to get storyline I think I have plenty of storyline so that doesn't even make sense. That is, again, they're just being, you know, misconstruing th things and trying to demoralize me because then they look better. Are you, have you moved on from this breakup with this 